Today we're going to be here in Woodlawn Cemetery in Gotha, Florida, tracking down some famous grave sites that they have here on property. I found these very interesting. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah. I am in Woodlawn Cemetery here in Gotha, Florida, tracking down some famous grave sites, including Mr. Bob Ross. And I figured you guys would want to tag along. I find it interesting that these celebrities if you will, these famous grave markers are here in Florida. When you think about famous graves, you always think about California. Well, Florida has their fair share. So if you guys are up for it, now. Let's take a closer look. Now the first spot we're going to be finding is the final resting place for Mr. Dave, Lonesome Dave Peveret, who was the lead singer of the blues rock band Foghat. You guys know them famously for the song Slow Ride, which is what we're taking right now in Woodlawn Cemetery. Dave passed away February 7th, 2000, at the age of 56 in Orlando, but he was born in London, England in 1943. And this is it right here. Day's final resting place. It's born April 16th, 1943, London, England. Passed away February 7th, the age of 56. His wife, Linda, is also buried here. He passed away December of 2000. There's a little guitar at the very top there. And a little record on the other side. Pretty incredible. He was the guitar player of the British band Savoy Brown, but he was the lead singer of the blues rock band Foghat. Pretty cool to see his final resting place. I had no idea that he was buried out here in Gotha, Florida of all places. That's rock royalty right over there. That song has been featured in many films, commercials, sporting events. I mean, every time you go to a football game, baseball game, you will hear Slow Ride played at least once. You go to any bar, you're gonna hear Slow Ride. And the voice of that song, David, it's laid to rest right over there. By the way, with this video, I mean no harm. This is kind of a serious, more serious, you know, subject. And I've always been interested in final resting places for, for famous folks. And it's just very interesting to see where people end up after they, uh, they've completed their mission, their adventure here on planet Earth. So we're going to move on to the next spot that we're going to visit today, right now. Also in this same plot area, oh wow, is that a hawk? Like I was saying, in this same area, Major League Baseball player, a relief pitcher who played six seasons with the Los Angeles Dodgers, is laid to rest Mr. Tim Cruz the LA Dodgers. Now he was born in Tampa in April of 1961 and passed away in Orlando at the age of 31, 1993. He was in a boating accident, young age. Pretty sad, but we're gonna go find Mr. Tim Cruz, his final resting place. And here it is, Mr. Tim's final resting place. There's a little baseball glove and shoes there and a little fish right there because I believe Tim enjoyed fishing tragic way to to go out it was actually during his 
spring training when this happened. He was a, a free agent with the Cleveland Indians. And he was to become the team's setup man, but he never played a game for the team. I have a lot of friends who are baseball fans, so it's always interesting to see where baseball players are laid to rest. And if you're a fan, now you know they're here in Central Florida. Come and pay your respects. Now I'm heading over to my final spot here in Woodlawn Cemetery. I'm gonna go find our old friend, Mr. Bob Ross, who I've visited before, a long time ago. You guys remember Bob Ross, the joy of painting? Well, he's laid to rest here in Gotha, Florida. And this is where Mr. Bob Ross is laid to rest. As you can see, people come and leave different things for Bob, just paying their respects. 1942. Passed away in 1995, Independence Day. Television artist, Bob Ross. Some paintbrushes there, some flowers. Everyone has their thing. He meant a lot to a lot of folks. Unbelievable that he's buried here. I gotta be honest with you guys, I almost didn't do this video. I've been wanting to do it, especially when I found out that the lead singer of Foghat was buried here. But with these subjects, it's a little sad. I always get in a weird mood doing these, but I know a lot of people out there in this world wanna know where people are buried so they can come and you know pay their respects, which is more or less why, you know, I did this episode, so just letting you guys know, that's the main reason. It's just to put it out there in the world so people are aware and people know, because I didn't know for years. And then when I found out that Bob was buried here, I had to see it for myself. I grew up watching him. He was on PBS all the time. The joy of painting was definitely something you would put on from time to time and I still find myself watching it to this day. And just to let you guys know, Bob is in section O and just look for this large statue here. And he is to the left of the big tree, straight ahead. And the other two gentlemen I showed you, Tim Cruz and Dave Peveret, Look for the big lake, and they are to the left. There's a big statue of a bell, like the Liberty Bell. They are in that section there. Well, we took care of business here today at Woodlawn Cemetery in Gotha, Florida. The next time you guys are here, I highly recommend checking it out if you would like to pay your respects to those we visited today. I will see you guys on the next adventure. If you enjoyed this episode, click the thumbs up button. See you guys very soon. Stay weird. Goodbye. Goodbye.